Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Star Wars 2024 news video. Today we are looking at two brand new sets releasing on March the 1st. They are both 25 year anniversary sets for the LEGO Star Wars theme. I'm so excited to talk about these. So let's go ahead, let's get started with 75379. This is R2-D2. It has 1,050 pieces and is going to be retailing for $99.99 USD. And I am really excited for one part of this set. Uh, so I want to talk first about the branding of these. And they are all sort of silvery. And it's sort of like this sort of blue looking silver. And it looks really nice. I like the packaging for this a lot. I really love the little symbol down below. You've got their R2-D2 and it's next to the 25 years of Lego Star Wars logo and he's projecting this one by one brick. So, you know, the fact that R2 is the logo, it makes sense for R2 to be getting his own set. But then you can see right there to the right, it says exclusive minifigure Darth Malak. And this is really, really awesome. Uh, if you come on over to the product image, you can see Darth Malak in all of his glory. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely crazy. Just look at the leg printing. Look at the incredible torso printing. Obviously, the, the craziest part, like they could have just printed it. The craziest part is they made this, like the, the piece that goes around and covers the mouth. That just looks incredible. They've even got like the Mandalorian cape being used there, which is really awesome. And and then just the printing, I'm sure, for the head is just just awesome. But also, you can see that he's on a stand. And that stand has that same R2-D2 logo from the front. And that's pretty great. I, I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure that these figures don't have like a, a logo printed on the back or anything like that. It is like a fully like fledged this is an anniversary figure just thrown in here so really great but yeah the fact that the stand is the same build for the 20 years that they did i think is really interesting so and just like those you also have a plate included so that you can actually connect them and display them all next to each other it's not necessarily exclusive to him like it doesn't say his name or anything like the other ones did but still really really cool and just to come back to the to the box i love just on the side as well how they're also advertising the exclusive figure and it just looks looks really great anyways the set itself i guess we should talk about that right uh it is almost it, it's almost half the price of the other one that we have right now the ucs model the 18 plus one it definitely shows when you look at some of the the smaller details but i, I do like some of the part usages here i mean if you look at the top of the head it is able to rotate and turn and different things you you do have a little bit on the top now it's not like detractable you have to actually attach it uh, which is sort of i think what most of these play features are here uh, especially as you go through you'll notice that but yeah i think that uh, the little the little hands there that's really cute i i love that use of the bucket handle piece that's that's great and uh, you've got the little taser sort of thing on the other side but the center part there, I really love the parts that they're using to create that effect. That looks nice, like all the grays, like all the slopes and different things. That's really detailed. And then coming on down, you do have the little third leg that you can detach. And uh, it doesn't detract or anything. It doesn't drop down like the other one. Again, this is a much smaller model. But I do like the legs there and just the, the whip pieces being used for the wires and different things. That's really nice. You do, of course, have a plaque, though, uh, because this is a buildable character for Star Wars. And you do get a minifigure version of R2-D2 there. So overall, like, I'll be getting this because I need the anniversary figure. That's, like, the only thing that's going to really get me to do that because otherwise I wouldn't do that. Um, I do just want to mention one other thing. There is actually a rumor of another set for this coming later this year that could tie to this 75398 it's a buildable c3po it is an 18 plus set it has a thousand one hundred thirty eight pieces it'll be retailing for 149.99 usd now to me it would make sense that they're like hey let's release a c3po sort of in a similar scale so that he can like stand next to him and put his hand on it but you know that, that's just an assumption here anyways though uh, let's move on over to the next set, 75387. This is the boarding, the Tantive, Tantive, however you want to say it, Tantive 4. 
This has 502 pieces and will be retailing for $54.99 USD. Now we did a video talking about this before just based off of a blurry image, but you could see here just in much clearer detail here. Really exciting, but uh, I want to talk about the minifigures. Obviously the most exciting one here that we've never gotten before is Ark Trooper 5s. Now I could talk about this for a very, very long time, but I'm so so happy with how this turned out i know that people are complaining about some things and i get it the printing there uh when it comes to the blue stripes it should be a lot closer to the center uh but something and it was a misconception that i had until recently but in terms of the helmet that is the correct helmet choice for fives now he doesn't have the typical arc trooper that has like that that fin going back now i thought he did i've even drawn him i've drawn this figure with that so uh still though really really crazy to see i i love the rest of the printing looks amazing. Like, even looking at the torso, it looks great. Just looking at the arm printing, the leg printing, those stripes, the black stripes going both ways, creating like that X, is amazing. I love the pauldron, too, and how it's flattened. At first, when it leaked, I know that myself, too, I was like, oh, that kind of looks weird. But now it makes sense because it's got a backpack there in behind, so that has to be flat. I think it looks phenomenal. I'm really, really excited about this. And the rest of the, the figures in here, too, are really nuts, too. So you get Darth Vader in here and is the, the detailed version of him with, I think it has arm printing. That's great. And you also get two Stormtroopers, which is very fitting, as well as Captain Antilles in a cheap set. Woo! So, so happy about that. I, I'm just so grateful. You also got uh, two Rebel Fleet Troopers. So that's pretty exciting. I know that a lot of other people were wanting uh, the Rebel Friend to be in this set, to be the anniversary figure. I think that would be really great. I mean, I feel like they are really just leaning into, tempted to say meme aspect of LEGO Star Wars, because we're getting Jedi Bob. So when it comes to the Rebel Trooper, and if you'll notice all these collectible figures, they have nothing to do with the era and the set that they're actually in. So I think that we legitimately have a good chance of getting the, the Rebel Friend, but I think that that would probably be in like a random set, but the actual set, we weren't able to see like the details from it earlier. So it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's just so detailed. I love how you could see uh, there's actually the, the blast doors that can open up and on the one side of it from where Vader is coming through, you could see that there's he's they've cut it open, obviously, but there's like transparent orange and red pieces on it. But then if you look at the, the back of the box, you can see that the door actually can slide open and close. So that's really, really neat that they have added those little details. I think the other door is also able to close. It just looks like it has some sort of hinge or something there in the back. I'm hoping that is the case. In terms of the other play features, you could sort of like flick the little pieces down below to launch the Stormtroopers and Rebel Troopers out of the way so that's neat i thought maybe it would be like a force ability i'm pretty sure you can see in this lifestyle image there's a tube that's going the other way and i'm not sure if that has something to do with the other doors like if if you turn those is that how you're actually opening and closing the door i think it is like it's all mechanized so that's really cool that you're going to be able to open and close blast doors that way and speaking of this lifestyle image it gives us a really good look at the side part here of the build uh, there's a lot of technicals and there are literally pegs included so it clearly is meant to attach to something i'm not sure like obviously it could be multiple of these and maybe in behind where the the troopers are the rebel troopers there's some holes there but you you saw before like there wasn't anything like behind vader where they're coming in through so i'm not too sure like where exactly it'll attach to but i'm so excited for that 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 sounds great that they are actually keeping that in mind here maybe it'll be a different scene on the Tantive Four. i don't know like maybe one with c3po r2 and princess leia i think would be really cool to get just spitballing there but i'm so excited to to see more of this you are able to uh, have a little transparent piece to choke uh, captain antilles there so that's <laughs> pretty great there I'm fairly confident that that's the same Captain Antilles we've gotten before. At least the torso. I think the eyes are a little bit different uh, with the choking expression. They do look like they're a little bit more closed here. Like the bottom part is a little more flat than before. But either way, I, I don't care. Happy about that. So, so glad to have. And uh, yeah, I'm beyond excited 
for these figures. They look amazing, and obviously fives, Malik. Like this is just insane. This is just a little taste, a little tidbit of uh, what I suspect the rest of the year is going to be when it comes to getting these crazy anniversary figures and different things. So. I'm so excited. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future LEGO Star Wars set news and potentially reviews if I'm able to get my hands on these early. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.